Oh, I just met uh, Terry for breakfast. Um, I thought we can come up here and talk about the drone stuff, but he was tired. And we will meet again, so in the afternoon. I hope it won't be too tight uh, schedule-wise, but he said he also has time tomorrow, so let's be spontaneous and see how things go. Um, he also forgot the laptop, but he will buy one himself during lunch. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I guess it gives me time to try out the spa and the swimming pool. So, okay. Also looks like I'm the only guest. I love it, I just run. Oh, in paradise there are things that are forbidden. What is forbidden? Uh, jumping and diving and slipping is also forbidden. I hope I won't die. Whoa, what the fuck? This makes up for all the traffic jam. So now I'm here at Media Mart with uh, Terry and his lovely wife Hi. over there. She's paying the bill. So we bought a laptop for the drone and later on we will go flying. Mm. And I guess Terry is excited yeah. about it. He's very, very excited. It will be my very first time learning how to, to fly my invention, you know, with the help of this great genius here. <laughs> Don't uh, compliment me too early. <laughs> I hope everything will work out, and uh, yeah, but we will see later, and I will keep you updated. Well done. <laughs> we are about to head off for the flying in the park. I don't even need to drive myself. Uh, Terry hired a driver, a taxi driver. It's also kind of uh, cheap. Maybe you shouldn't say cheap. What should you say in English? Affordable here. It's 12,000 forint per hour, which is something like 30, 35 bucks. So, okay, if he insists. I mean, I, I, I would like to have the driving experience here again, also with my convertible. But on the other hand, it would be really uh, uncomfortable for them, really tight in the back. So, and I'm a bit nervous because if something happens, if the linch pen starts wobbling again, it, makes me look stupid but yeah I can't help it I can just explain what the problem is and yeah let's hope it flies uh, stable or non wobbly or convenient yeah let's see I will keep you updated we are at the local park here now we oh, set up the linch pin it, it just had cheap, found GPS the beep means it found GPS and I'm excited to show it to Terry now so far there has been no police or so I hope nobody will complain but we will just do a tiny bit of hovering and see if everything works and so on and explain it. So I think I can't film that at the same time, but maybe you can film, I don't know. Yeah, I'll film. Yeah, okay. In general, the linchpin flew fine, but sometimes there is an oscillation about the roll axis. It was definitely less critical with the lighter frame. But anyway, the next version will fly a lot better. I'm already on that. After that flight, uh, also Terry did one by himself and then we had to leave already because it was getting dark and also we had evening plans. I was calling myself stupid because I thought I had lost the micro SD card of the onboard video somewhere in the grass. However, I was told this is a strong choice of words and I shouldn't say that. Uh, I couldn't help myself to record a video because somebody was calling me stupid just recently, but I won't tell any names here. 
I was just called by those two people back there that you shouldn't call other people stupid. You should call them. What was it? Forgetful. Sil yeah, forgetful or or silly. Absent-minded. Absent-minded. Yeah. Absent -minded. So but stupid is the biggest <laughs> insult. And, you know, because you're not just insulting them; you're insulting their ancestry. You're insulting Because that their means they came from something stupid. If they're stupid, and you can't. Ooh, that's a. Yeah, okay. I, I, I throw up my hands. I'm stupid. <laughs> But okay, but not not that I'm told told them about our fighter. So I was just saying that about myself. I said I'm stupid because I lost an SD card and I was uh, told that it's not it's a good thing. It's self abuse to call himself stupid. Okay, I, I will not be self abusive then anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Maybe I'm going crazy, but this, this amateur looking funny. Hello, hello, who's speaking? Oh, I'm connected to the bathtub. Hello, I will now climb into you and take a bath. Talk to me later. <coughs> Just thinking about what uh, movie should I watch? And I wanted to watch a movie here on Netflix um, while I'm in the bathtub and maybe with a tablet reading a paper. Um, I found an, a book about uh, this thing Terry and Chris call what was it? Uh, vector equilibrium, which for me means just that all vectors. In some equal zero, but I think it's something else. It's a guy who developed some some geometry, so I wanted to have a look at this book and maybe in the meantime watch some movie. And I just realized, hey, there is this new Shining movie on Netflix, but such a place with the spooky hallway. Or should I? Am I brave enough to do that or am I get nightmares for watching Shining in a hotel? That's a question here. <laughs> The breakfast in this hotel was amazing. Unfortunately, Terry didn't have much time on Sunday because he had to study his text and prepare himself for the scene on Monday. So I was meeting him again on Sunday evening in his suite to do the final handover of all the equipment and to do a short flight inside uh, his suite. On the way to his suite in front of another room, I discovered something I also only knew from the movies. Okay, somebody knows how to live. So, this is my last evening here. I'm in the suite of uh, Terry and Mira. Looks really nice here. I think it's a front window there to the street on the hotel. It's actually a balcony. Ah, you even have a balcony, yeah, okay. Yeah. Ah, I, d I didn't see that, okay. Ah, very small, mm -hmm. narrow balcony, but yeah, it's nice with the flag of the hotel. Okay. <laughs> so, and we will now 
do the handover so that he gets all the accessories also, the, the accessories, the charger, batteries, and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm over here, it's got an egg in my hand. A raw egg, no, a no, boiled egg. <laughs> Yeah, he's very busy. I don't want to keep him. No, 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 I'm good. I, this, we, everything we do is running. That's all that matters. Yeah. In this yeah. life right now, I wish I could offer you something to drink. No, I think you're. It's but fine. But they don't I, provide anything I, up here. I, I had some. I had some water in in uh, in my room. I went to the grocery store. It's fine. But thank you. Um, yeah. I will stop filming, or maybe if I'm flying yeah, here, you yeah. could you could you film it. Then. So we just decided that I would do a final flight in the manual mode here because it's such a spacious uh, room. Mm -hmm. and it this ceiling is high enough for you. Yeah, yeah, the ceiling is not a problem. More the furniture, but still fine. It's bigger than my living room, I think, or about the same. Not that big. <coughs> yeah, we'll be fine. The the antenna, the depending thing. But normally I should see the drone turn back. Ah. It's not a drone. It's a linchpin. It's a nice looking linchpin drone. <laughs> Stop recording. Uh -huh. yeah, they have, I think they have to unplug the battery first again and because the, the laptop needs a driver for the radio. Sorry, I, could have, I should have done that last night. Is that... It, was never a problem, it needs a driver for the radio? Uh, oh, this was so <coughs> embarrassing. I used the telemetry radio from Holybrove at so many different Windows machines, Windows laptops or also Linux, I think mostly Linux, but anyway, it never needed a special driver or so, it was always just plug and play, you connect, you plug it in and it finds a driver and it runs, but here, uh, the brand new laptop we bought didn't have the driver, so I had to install it. And I could even have done that before because I had the laptop in my room for a while, but I didn't even think about that. So yeah, very embarrassing, but yeah, after some minutes I could fix it finally. Installed drivers, let's see if it made a difference. Oh, what was that cute Close the two crown controls or something again. Terrible food. It smelled really good. Yeah, I know. It was yeah. you with your fingers. See how it feels. Smelled really appetizing. Manual flight mode. Ah. Pre flight veil. Excel's inconsistent. Check out. <laughs> and there was the next problem. The linchpin wouldn't arm. Sometimes um, the sensors are a bit sensitive. So yeah, so I guess that's what they are. Sensors, sensitive, yeah, same word. <laughs> so even if it can take off uh, from any angle, if it's not completely standing level, then sometimes it won't switch on. About not being level, which is a bit awkward because it can't be more level than this. Yeah. Usually it helps if you just uh, plug it out and plug it in again. Um, but in this case, this didn't work. But after some attempts and just slightly changing the position uh, and after some minutes later, it also finally worked. That is, I don't know what that was, that that actually it's a, yeah, it sounds weird, but it really never happened before. I don't know. Maybe there was some interference in that room or so. I have no idea. Oh, no, there go. Seems to be something wrong with that spot. <laughs> Fascinating.
I think we should stop now because uh, Mira said she has an allergy against the feathers in the feathers. Yeah, so but what you just did. Blowing a lot of air here. What you just uh, did yeah. was ultra impressive and massively, massively <laughs> satisfying. Uh, well, he's here. Now, how do you charge that one? Uh, the transmitter. Uh, just with this uh, charger here, you have to plug it in on the, on the bottom. Yeah. And then in a power outlet for 110 or 220 volts. And that's the one I've got to get the trends, yeah. yeah. But usually this battery lasts really long. It's now at 96%. And so I'm going to have to, oh, I'll be able to change it on this, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That will change in a minute on. Yeah. I don't know if those are easy to find, but it has a number on it. Uh, S something. I think it's, you can Google that or your system can, can find the adapter. Yeah, so I think we are almost done with that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. We will stop filming now for the audience, but uh, it was a pleasure to be here. And Absolute pleasure. I am enchanted by his engineering. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. lonely because Terry and his wife didn't have time to come and yeah I wish uh, Gabi would have joined or Svetlo and we could uh, explore the city together but I will have a nice walk and do some sightseeing I think I will take just this bridge to put it the other side but it's really amazing By the way, the, this food was also amazing. It was so tasty, especially the dessert. And this uh, sting pointing upwards was somehow uh, caramelized. Um, something was, yeah, I'm really satisfied with that choice with the Indian, Indian restaurant. And uh, yeah, let's see what else I can explore and maybe find a nice bar with cocktails. I don't know how long they will be open because it's Sunday, but yeah, we will see. I can't believe how many statues they have here in this town and how many nice old buildings. That's incredible. After a long walk, I made it to this bridge here. So we cross the river and check out the other side because the other side looks pretty nice. But yeah, it could also be that uh, the grass looks always greener on the other side. I don't know, but I'm going, I'm about to find out. Okay, shit, it seems like the waterfall is closed. Because behind me, at this nice uh, wall, let me show you, yeah, there is the statue up there. And then and down there is a, is a waterfall flowing uh, during the day. And I saw it from the car when I came here and I wanted to show you with the phone, but uh, Exactly at that point the traffic was a bit more fluent again and I couldn't film and drive at the same time. I shouldn't do that anyway, but yeah, you know how it is. But I think since the waterfall is switched off I won't even go there. I will just go down here 
and walk a bit along the river again and try to find a bathroom and maybe a mojito. Okay, I changed my mind uh, because I want to use the stairs to burn some calories from the food. Green light, green light. I think that's a good idea. Also, I will have a nice view up there. And I checked on Google Maps and there are no restaurants or bars down there. So I guess it's the best idea to go up there to enjoy the view and burn some calories and then gain some calories by drinking cocktails in a bar closer to the hotel. So that's the plan for now. the way up. That was a bit more exhausting than I thought, but good for burning the calories and um, also for the fuel. I think I will stay up here for a couple of minutes. You can also hear somehow how the city is living down there from the echo of the, of the valley. The car noises, people screaming. I really like that. A snail is also going up this way. She started a year ago. She will be up there in three days. Keep going. You almost got it. This is the spot where this giant uh, statue is uh, standing. Directly in front of this uh, white bridge some German teenagers uh, drinking. Good so far. Okay, interesting. I never saw that in my life. A Bitcoin bar. I guess it means you can pay by Bitcoin here, probably. Hmm. I was just offered some cocaine, but I kindly refused. Not my thing. You don't need to move uh, too many fingers here if you don't want to, I think. That's nice, but um, I have to leave. I have to check out in one and a half hours and I also have a long drive. But I think I will enjoy my last uh, shower here now, write some emails and then I will get ready on the road. Uh, what is really relieving is that this table here is almost empty. So I have a lot less stuff to carry down to the car now. I can do that uh, myself at Agdi nice guy from the front without Oliver um, yeah because I okay I still have those two radio cases but I think I can take those two radio cases and my suitcase in, in my hands and the backpack on my back and I think then I'm good to go and I will load the car in the garage and check out and everything is more relaxed now without all that uh, luggage Um, initially I was planning to visit an old friend in Austria so I don't have to drive all the way at once uh, but she just cancelled I think I will just start driving heading to Stuttgart and then if I'm too tired or if I see something nice on the way in Austria just saw on Google Maps that there's a huge lake somewhere around Vienna I will stop and maybe take a hike or go for lunch or so and then I will continue driving I think that's the best plan so far. I hope the traffic out of town is not as bad as on Friday to get here, but we will see.
time for a break. I think I will also close the roof because of the GoPro. But 577.6 kilometers with one gas fill, that's a lot for my car. I think once I made it to 600, but only highway driving slow and no uh, city traffic, no rush hour. So, yeah. But time to refill it and to charge my batteries a bit too. everything even my uh, vaccination certificate and so on and he didn't care he just wanted to see something could well probably also could have been the ID of somebody else I don't know what the deal is about that maybe they just want to to make people panic or so I don't know it's weird taking a short break here. I was not extremely hungry or thirsty but I was so tired and I didn't want to be on a highway stop so I went to a small village here in Austria and I made a doggy friend. Hmm? First he barked when I came by but then he followed me you know he wants to get pet. Seems to be a bit older huh? You're not the youngest dog in the world. What a cutie! A cute doggy. Oh, it's hot, huh? Yeah. But I have to get back on the highway. I have to get running. Hmm? Oh, good doggy. Fine doggy. Hmm? I was wondering if I can pet him because I'm not so familiar with dogs. I'm more of a cat person. Uh, so I wouldn't just pet a unknown dog. But he came to me, he wanted to get pet. Hmm? Kommst du wieder mit zurück? Nee. Okay. Seems like he didn't go for me. Seems like he had a goal. Where to go? This nice nature. It is almost like Covid never happened. Uh, but I just realized the difference. My hand was smelling... Um, smelling um, of dog but I always have this cleaning this uh, how is it called in English um, like this hand here uh, hand gel anti uh, antiseptic I always have this here because of COVID and if you touch something you sometimes want to be able to to clean your hands but to be honest I'm not even using it so much because of COVID it's more useful for taking the trash out or touching something disgusting. I thought about going down to the river here and clean my hands, but then I realized, hey, wait, it's Corona time. I still have uh, this thing in my pocket. Check the current regulations. But yeah, that's also, in my opinion, an advantage of a cat. They don't smell so much as dogs. But yeah, I don't want to bash dogs. They're also cute. Fun fact, I think those are llamas or alpacas. Llamas in Austria. Llamas with heads.
taking another break I was oh, so tired I was so tired while driving so I thought it's better to stop and rest for a moment yeah, my car is down there and it's actually a kind of a nice parking lot here with a field behind but yeah tough all those kilometers and uh, too little sleep last night should have uh, drunk this two uh, swimming pool cocktails in the end stop at the home improvement store here uh, because I wanted to check out something for Gabi some uh, things for her flowers for her plants and I think I can also need the additional stop um, even if I didn't drive very long but that's the opportunity to find a home improvement store directly at the highway I'm probably crazy because I'm honestly thinking about buying something like this maybe I make another dog friend who knows Google Maps uh, recommended an alternative route to avoid a roadblock and I saw a sign here that said uh, home of aerospace. I can't see any of that uh, but sounds interesting. Maybe it could work for the linchpin. Home of aerospace but I think many places claim to be that. Probably there's some supplier company here for aerospace. Uh, and I just saw uh, field of bonsai trees which is also unusual here I guess but uh, I wasn't fast enough to film it sorry fun fact Google Maps sent me through very tiny roads through a small town or tiny town called Katzenbach, uh, which translates to Cat Mount, uh, no Katzenberg, which translates to Cat Mountain. But unfortunately, I didn't see any cats in Cat Mountain, um, and also I couldn't see any roadblock. I think it was just uh, old information, some, some obsolete information was just uh, unnecessary. But yeah, it happens. At least I had a small sightseeing tour through Katzenberg. Cat Mountain. Firefighters in Cat Mountain. A cat in Cat Mountain? No. Police in Cat Mountain. Right here on the screen, uh, but I think that's just the camera brightening it up. It's about to get uh, and also on the horizon are some clouds. So, uh, but I hope I will make it the open roof uh, stay dry. I don't know, but it could be that I'm getting a bit wet. But if you're just going fast enough, then you won't get wet. Sign that's 
says uh, 80 kilometers per hour when wet. Are they crazy? When it's going to get wet, I want to drive faster so that I don't get wet. Suddenly, uh, very big raindrops uh, started coming down, and there's only one option: go, 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 and don't stop. Never stop, or you will get wet. Now it's coming in on the sides a bit, but still better than stopping. Plan B would to hope for a bridge, or there's a bridge, and do a full stop directly under the bridge. But I never tried that. I think it's dangerous. because it was uh, dripping from the sides um, also the nicely freshly clean car got wet on the door interior but I used the pullover to dry it a bit so Gabi why did we even clean the car the rain does the job too but the rain can't vacuum okay um, yeah so I hope I'm through with the rain but the, the front looks good so I think I will just keep driving. So I passed Munich now. So I will be home in about two hours. Uh, I decided to close the roof because it's getting a bit chilly around the ears. I don't want to catch a cold. Uh, I'm not tired at all anymore, but I have to pee so badly. So I'm back home now after this 11 hour drive. Um, I'm really exhausted. Also, I think one eye is hanging a bit when I'm tired. I'm not on drugs or anything, I'm just tired. <laughs> and yeah, but I'm happy. It was a fun trip. It was uh, a good experience. We exchanged some exciting ideas about the future and future projects. Uh, so I hope you liked the video, you liked watching it and um, stay tuned for updates about the linchpin.